Please rise. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. Celebrating the second mysteries, let us take a moment to repent for our sins. With confidence to pray, our Heavenly Father, to grant us pardon, healing, and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose Saint Joseph as a spouse of the most holy mother of your son, grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Pueden sentarse. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you, Elijah replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided, and both crossed over dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit? You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you will see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted, otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to the heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, my father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, where is the Lord? the God of Elijah. When Elisha struck the water, it divided, and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let, Let your, your hearts take comfort, 
Oh, we hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which, toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let, Let your, your heart take, take comfort, comfort all, all who hope, hope in, the in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let your, Let your hearts, hearts take, take comfort, comfort all, all who hope, hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requites those who act proudly. Let your, Let your hearts, hearts take, take comfort, comfort all, all who hope in the Lord. Take comfort, all hope in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to love him. Alleluia. your spirit from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you lord jesus said to his disciples take care not to perform right to deeds in order that people may see them otherwise you will have no recompense for your heavenly father from your heavenly father when you give alms do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing so that your alms giving may be secret and your father who sees in secret will repay you when you pray do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners so that others may see them amen i say to you they have received the reward but when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomily like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received the reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good deeds like this and many others, the Lord mentioned, thing, mentioned here three of them, giving alms to those in need uh, that, uh, I don't know, especially nowadays, you find uh, a lot of them by the streets asking for some help here and everywhere. And I guess those are good opportunities too. 
to help uh, someone. And uh, deal one, of course, is about our prayers, the intention to pray for whatever intention. We can pray to give thanks, we can pray for all the people needs, for those who are sick, for ourselves. We can pray as a sign also of uh, repentance. Or, I mean, th there can be many other r reasons why to pray. And the other one that the Lord also mentions here is about fasting. So either any of these three ones or any other good thing that we do, should have uh, the main intention to please God, hmm? to please God, not to uh, show up or to manifest that we are good, that we are very pious, that we are very generous, uh, that we are very self, I don't know, sacrificed. Of course, these things are good things to do. But once again, we should always uh, examine our conscience and our intentions, not only about what we do, but also by, about why we do this or that. And the other one that should be considered is how we do this or that. Because I don't remember now how St. Thomas Aquinas said uh, this sentence that uh, for a good work that we do, in order that they, those works can be really good, all these three uh, circumstances should be good. If any of these three circumstances are wrong, the whole action is wrong. We waste things. If we, don't, if, we, if we don't consider those three aspects to be good, I mean, the action as such should be good. The intention should be good. And the circumstances also should be good. Let me give you an example about a circumstance that can mess all the good action. Let's say that uh, I want to help someone who is very much in need. And I give him some help. Well, the action as such is good. And the intention, okay, I don't want anyone to know. I don't want anyone to know that I, I, I helped that person. I don't want a picture, I don't want a photograph, I don't want to receive big applauses. But I took that money from Connie, from her purse. She didn't realize because, and I gave it to that man, that person. Well, of course, no matter how good that action was, if I stole that money from someone else to give that to someone else, well, that corrupt the whole action. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's only an example. Mm -hmm. But, well, it's not that we need to uh, square our minds and to be there all scrupulous. No, no, don't become scrupulous either. Oh, well, why? Uh, no, do. We are called to accomplish good things, to pray, to fast, to help others, whatever, whatever else. Mm -hmm. 
So the action should be good. The intention should be good. And all other circumstances in which we accomplish that action also should be right. Mm -hmm. And then, well, just to have in mind that hey, we are here in this life mainly to please God. To please God and to do good things for others, as he taught us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God knows the prayers written on our heart, trusting in his loving will for us, we now offer our petitions as one body. For the church, may we receive the Holy Spirit's gift of prophecy, that we strive to share the good news, let us pray to the Lord. For all who hold public office, may God grant them perseverance in working for the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are in need of God's healing in mind or body, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord continue to transform us in His grace, in His mercy and grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died. May they rest in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For today, intentions for Jewel Newman, eternal rest, and for Raul and Alicia de la Garza, uh, thanksgiving for their wedding anniversary. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear these prayers we offer on behalf of your children throughout the world and grant them according to your will. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia. 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 And it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. Alleluia.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of St. Joseph, when you call to watch like a father on earth, whom you, whom you called to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your heart. We lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to the Lord God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and uh, in honor in St. Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and said, uh, as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, uh, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven, and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise for to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously may holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with uh, St. Lucas, St. Miguel Arcangel, St. Charbel, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francisco, our Pope and Gustavo Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, And to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso est video patri omnipotenti, in unitate spiritu santi, omnis honor et gloria per omnia secula seculorum. Let us praise our Heavenly Father with the same prayer that, all, that our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the returning glory of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Domine Jesus Christ, Filho de Dei Vivi, que es voluntad de Patris, cooperante Espíritu Santo, per morte en tu al mundo, un vivificaste, libérame per oxa crosanto, un corpus de sangre en tu of omnibus iniquitatibus meisit universis malis, fag me tu esempe in erere mandatis, et a te enum quan separare permitas. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, 
who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy really that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi, custodia mi vita materna. Amen. Sanguis Christi, custodia mi vita materna. Amen. My life flows on in endless song above earth's lamentation. I hear the real though far off hymn that hails a new creation. No harm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging. Since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? Through all the tumult and the strife, I hear that music ringing. It sounds and echoes in my soul. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging. Since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? What through the tempest round me roar, I hear the truth it liveth. What though the darkness round me close, songs in the night it giveth. No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging, since love is Lord of heaven and earth. How can I keep from singing? Body of Christ. When tyrants tremble, sick with fear, and hear their death knells ringing, when friends rejoice both far and near, how can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging since love is Lord of heaven and earth. How can I keep from singing? The peace of Christ makes fresh my heart a ever springing all things are mine since I am his how can I keep from singing no storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging since love is Lord of heaven and earth. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging since love is Lord of heaven and earth. 
How can I keep from singing? My life flows on in endless song Above earth's lamentation I hear the real though far off hymn that hails a new creation. For the people who are following this Mass by the transmission, let us pray this spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Restored by this life-given sacrament, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example and intercession of St. Joseph, who in carrying, who in carrying out your great mysteries, serve you as a man just and obedient through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reminder or a correction about the Mass scheduled for Saturday in the Immaculate Heart of Mary's Mass will take place that because this coming Friday is the official uh, feast, solemnity of the heart of Jesus. This coming Friday, Mass will be celebrated at, uh, at, at noon. Is this Friday? Yeah. And uh, the Immaculate Heart of Mary main uh, celebration is this coming Saturday. The Mass will be celebrated at 9 a.m., not at noon, but at 9 a.m. If you can join us for those uh, two main consecutive celebrations, it can be very profitable for your, for your lives. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Before we sing our closing song, one added invitation 
Tomorrow night at six o'clock, we're having our uh, COVID-19 mass of healing. At six o'clock tomorrow, we're praying for those who've been affected and infected by the, the virus. So that's tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Yeah, I think this is uh, at the archdiocese level. Yes. Yeah, the, the bishop convocated a special mass tomorrow yes. uh, to pray God for to contain or to con contain to contain this uh, epidemic. Great, thank you. Go forth then in the peace of Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand and together we'll spread the news that god is in our land and they'll know we are christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are christians by our love thank you have a blessed day thank you We will work with each other. We will work side by side. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. And we'll guard each one's dignity and save each one's pride. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. All praise to the Father from whom all things come, and all praise to Christ Jesus, His only Son, and all praise to the Spirit who makes us one. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love.